Hi everybody, it's Teresa of Dental System Tutor here. In my last video, I uploaded a video talking about the coronavirus. And I took a break from doing educational videos. I promise to get back to those. I want to show people how to do free CEs to help you out. But right now, my main concern is just you getting to be able to do the CEs by keeping you healthy. That is my number one goal right now. I'm very concerned. I have to just speak from my heart. Um, as some of my subscribers know how I am, and some of you guys are my fellow students out there. I hope you all are doing well. Um, but getting back to the coronavirus, it is once thought that it was just by airborne, but now it's just by being in the same area, the same, like if I was right there in front of you and we were just having this conversation, you can get it. It's that bad. So I want to go over something with you guys. Just something that popped in my head, thought it might bring the light because I know every school teaches differently and I know this channel is mainly for students, but for some of us seasoned assistants and dental professionals, hygienists, dentists, because I know I have dentists on my channel, um, we can be, tend to become slack at times, relax, whatever the word you want to use. Um, think that we're just immune to it, all right? So I want to show you guys something. Because right now it's in 14 uh, different nations. Uh, 9,000 people are infected over in China. Um, one confirmed case, I think in Chicago, um, there are 200 Americans that have just came back just the other day that are being quarantined and they feel like they're being trapped. But for the general public, we can understand this. It just sucks for the people that are stuck there. Um, some people couldn't come home with their families because they ran out of room on the planes. But the point is, and they just now decided to cut off the borders and, and confirm that no one is sick crossing the borders. Okay, so they weren't even watching that. So, and my point is with this, I've worked in the dental field for 30 years now, okay? And I know we've had patients come in and out of the office that have flown to China, Russia, all these different countries. And then they have to come in and see the dentist because that's their general dentist. That's who, when their crown came off in Russia or China, they need to have it recapped. So they're going to call you right away. Here's the thing. I want to make sure you guys know this. I have a sheet, that you, a picture on my website. I will leave the link again underneath my video about the dental news. On that, you'll see a picture on the blog stating if you've been out of the country, blah, 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 let us know. All you have to do is right click on that picture when you're on the website, right click, hit print. That simple. Hang it up at your door, the front of your door, before they even walk in. It is so extremely important. This can spread, but okay, I need to calm down. I'm just really worried for people because I just think if I was in the office and I got splattered, what would I be thinking, okay? And it's not even more about splatter. So let's just regroup. If you have proper protocol, what you're going to do with your PPE, because um, they're wearing masks over in China, here's the thing. I know some doctors like to go cheap. Now's not the time. Um, I'm going to give a shout out to Darby Dental. Her name is Rebecca. They have a 1-800 number, Darby Dental. You want to speak to Rebecca. She will tell her Teresa Biggs referred you to her. Um, I get nothing out of this. I just want you to know that level three mass. You want level three mass because it comes in one, two. You want three. You want the max. Um, to be ordered when you put the mask on okay the color side faces out the white side faces in this one's completely white okay you're gonna go ahead and and i have a reason why i have my hair down i know that's so unprofessional it's wild right now but i have a reason for that because i know some of you girls like or gentlemen you know nowadays you don't want your hair up you want to look cute okay i understand that okay Especially when you're getting out close to 50 like I am. So I have this on. Bring it all the way down. Okay. This is sealed. Can you see how this is sealed? Okay. 
That's good. Now, if I was to take this mass and do a figure eight, some dental assistants like to do this in dentists because it helps their glasses from fogging up, okay? I did that, and I even straightened it out. But now I want you to see. Do you see the gap, the opening, okay? So when you're working, you're thinking this is secure, and you got your glasses on, but it's going through here, okay? So we don't want to do that, okay? I'm going to keep my hair down for this first demonstration. And um, I hope it goes well, by the way. All right. Um, I'm going to put my glasses on. Okay. You really should put your glasses on first, your mask, wash and dry your hands. I'm sitting in my bedroom, okay, where my computer is. And then I'm going to put some gloves on. When you put the gloves on, let's talk about the gloves. Let's review, okay? You want to make sure it's over your lab coat, okay? So nothing can get in. You don't want really tight gloves that will cause carpal tunnel okay you don't want them too loose because if you're trying to hold little things you know the tips of things you're going to drop it shake that up and then i'm gonna put this one on now i did put a link and there's ones for 30 and 40 dollars the top of the line ones but I understand some of you guys are students. So you cannot afford this stuff. They have the face shield. It's like a headband if you was to wear your headband down like this. And then the shield, never touch your face with your gloves, by the way. And then, <laughs> instructor and me. And then you're going, it's just a clear plastic piece that goes right down about here. I love those, especially for the lab. Um, a lot of places used to use them. They don't use them no more. But the problem is... Um, some people didn't wear with a mask. They thought that took the place of it. No, because the air, the aerosols are still going up your nose and in your mouth. If you smell it, you taste it. Remember that. Um, but it's going through. So wear a mask and then wear the shield. Okay. If you have sweating issues, if you're over 40s, you have hot flashes, you know, put the little sweatband there and then put it over okay it's gonna work wonders 9.99 i found on amazon link will be below the video it helps support the channel by a small commission if you order it but if, number one it's gonna help keep you safe okay let's keep going so i have all this on okay hope i don't break out in a hot flash right now so i uh, some of you guys know me how crazy i am with marking up my face i'm about to do it again i did it for the radiology so you can see the landmark and how to place it all. You know, getting off my rockers in my old age. But the next thing is, um, and then I did one for charting with the men line. If you haven't seen those videos, check it out. Okay, so I use my water, my water pick, okay? When I worked for Dr. Kelso, I um, order this, okay? And by the way, a lot of people didn't know this. I didn't know this for years. You like these kind of things, you know? You can order it, um, and you can, when you're in a position at an office, you ask your sales rep if you can get the discount price. They'll do that for you. Never knew that, or I would have had an electric toothbrush a long time ago. So, but I have one now, thank goodness. Okay, so I have, I don't want you to think I'm actually putting blood on me. Okay. Halloween blood. <laughs> now, some schools, like Ross Education, um, and Sigma, they did uh, the video if saliva was red. Expensive video, um, but it's so worth it because I'm going to show you something, okay? Imagine if this was just saliva and you're using the air water syringe tip and you're trying, you're learning because you're still learning this, okay? And shake it up. I'm going to turn it on. By the way, I have this on my Dental Geek website if you like it. Um, not too expensive, but anyway, you have this and what I'm going to do is, oh Lord, I have my glasses on. Okay. Now I have my hair down because this is if you want to wear your hair down at work is what's going to happen. Say it ricocheted. Okay. There it goes. And then again. Oh, there it goes. Now it's working. Oh Lord. How much should I do? Okay.
So say it ricocheted in any directions, okay? Say we're just going like this, and it's in the patient's mouth. It's going to ricochet, okay? Now, for the ladies that like to wear their hair down, you will get it in your hair. Now remember, this is if saliva was red, but right, it's, it's clear. So you can't see this stuff sitting on your face, all right? So good thing you have the glasses on. Take that off. But I have my glasses on, right? What's that? Right there. Near my eye. All right? And that's not even the tiny particles you can't see with the camera. All right? My husband's going to come home and be like, what happened to you, honey? Okay, so I'm going to take this off. All right? You're going to pull down. One loop. Oh, look. And that's, that was what it covered. It went through. Hmm. All right. And then I'm going to take the gloves off. And what you're going to do is you're going to take it right here. Put your fingers on the inside of the glove. So you're not going to touch it at ever. And if you have any like uh, cotton, bloody cotton, I always hold it like this first. And then like I'll do my mask. Watch. So I know it's bloody. I'm going to take it off. Only wear it one time. Some people like to wear it underneath their chin. I used to be guilty of that. Take it off like this. I didn't touch nothing. Now the bloody stuff is inside, including the mask. Now I'm going to go up underneath. Okay? Never touching the outside. And I'm going to do the same thing. So now they're sealed and locked. Now I'm going to go ahead and throw that away. Now. If I had worn my hair up, like I should, and had my little sweatband on for my hot flashes, I would never have gotten it in my hair, okay? So, be careful when you're wearing your PPE. It is so important. You're going to get extremely busy going from patient to patient to patient. Do not cut corners. Okay, now, I even got it on my shirt. I didn't wear a scrub shirt for this, but I did wear my lab coat. Now, wear it button up. I didn't, okay? So, if I had a scrub shirt up underneath and I left my shirt open like this because my arms are covered, I just now got it on my shirt it went through okay so remember take these nasty coats off before leaving the office at lunchtime all right um when you go to daycare after work if you have children make sure you're not hugging on them and loving on them as much as you want to unless you've actually brought a change of clothes this is going to help reduce the germs. Put them in a plastic bag or a carrying bag if you want one with a initial, something cute, and throw it all in the washer. Because if you're going to put the fresh clothes in there that you're going to wear after work, you done got germs in it from the scrub. So wash the bag too. You have to be OCD to cut down germs. I hope that comes out of my uh, water pick. All right. Your glasses. You're going to, with gloves on, of course, you're going to spray them and wipe them and rinse them. You have to rinse them after you disinfect them so you do not get blood in your eyes. Now, if there's any students out there that don't have glasses or dental assistants that don't have glasses, please, <coughs> excuse me, please let me know. I have a few. I am willing to give up. Let me get some coffee. I have a few that I'm willing to give up. It's what I have. They're just sitting around my house. I will pick a few. Um, just please subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment on something letting me know. And I will try to send some out to somebody. All right. Just if you really need them that bad and you're worried. Otherwise, go on the list and hit um, the one for $9.99 on <laughs> um, Amazon. 
I'm sorry, I have a cough. I, no, it's not the virus. It's from taking, here's something you need to know as a new assistant. I learned this many years later. Certain patients take medicine. I take lisinopril. I've taken it for 20 years um, and hydrochlorazine, and that is for blood pressure. Okay, that eventually dries the patient's throat out and gives them a cough. So be patient with those patients during treatment when they have that, that irritating cough, especially when they're trying to talk to you like I am. All right, so keep that in mind. I want to make sure I went over everything. I'll put new stats at the end of this video. That way you can see it. Um, don't forget, we still have to worry about the flu. The flu has taken lives. Guys, we are living in a time and a day that we just have to be more careful. All right, I'm going to go rinse my blood off. Look at that. Oh, and remember to wipe down the chairs. Start with the head to the toe, especially during the winter. You want to clean the bottom. So people that come in dresses and someone just left with boots, they're not going to get their uh, skirts all dirty and everything. So make sure you wait, wipe from the top of the chair to the base of the chair, the buttons, everything. It's time to step up your game. It is crunch time. Just like right before a test, it's crunch time. It is crunch time now for your safety, for the people around you's safety. And if you're sick, you have to stay home. You have to tell your boss. They don't believe you, send them a video. It is so important, but most importantly, get something up. Have the voicemail changed if someone's at an office working right now. Letting your patients know when you're confirming them that you need to know if they've been out of the country. It is not just for your safety, your boss's safety, if you're the boss, your employee's safety, but for the general public, for the patients that you treat. Okay? All right. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I will be uploading another video soon. And in Jesus' name, may God protect you. Just got to throw it out there.